today the church celebrates the feast of the queenship of mary the solemnity of the assumption is prolonged in the celebration of the queenship of the blessed virgin mary which occurs 7 days later on this day we contemplate her who seated beside the king of ages shines forth as queen and intercedes as mother these were the words said by pope paul vi in marialis cultus point 6 from the earliest centuries of the church christians have addressed fervent prayers and hymns of praise to the blessed virgin mary because of her eminence she is entitled to the highest honor that can be bestowed upon any creature for she is the glorious queen of the universe christians have always acknowledged the royal excellence of the mother of god whose son will reign in the house of jacob forever ecclesiastical writers called mary mother of the king mother of the lord saint gregory nazianzen called her the mother of the king of the entire universe and the virgin mother who brought forth the king of the entire world from the testimonies of the fathers theologians concluded that the blessed virgin is queen of all creation sovereign mistress of all men accordingly saint alfonso of liguri summed up the tradition thus saying that since the great virgin mary was raised to the dignity of mother of the king of kings the church justly honors her and wishes that she be honored with the glorious title of queen Pope Pius the 9th said the following about Mary turning her maternal heart towards us and dealing with the affair of our salvation she is concerned with the whole human race constituted by the Lord queen of heaven and earth and exalted above all the choirs of angels and ranks of the saints in heaven standing at the right hand of her only begotten son she petitions most powerfully with her maternal prayers and she obtains what she seeks proposing the traditional doctrine of the queenship of mary pope pius the 12th said in his encyclical ad celi reginam we commend that on the festival there be renewed the consecration of the human race to the immaculate heart of the blessed virgin mary upon this there is founded a great hope that they may arise an era of happiness that will rejoice in the triumph of religion and in christian peace therefore let all approach with greater confidence more than before the throne of mercy and grace of our queen and mother to beg help in difficulty light in darkness and solace in trouble and sorrow and let them strive to free themselves from the servitude of sin